Here we have a table of ordered pairs, x and y values. And this is something you might see before you graph something. In this case, these x and y values are for an exponential function. And instead of graphing it, what we're actually trying to do is write an equation to represent that function. Since this is an exponential function, we're going to start with this basic exponential uh, equation. We're going to say y equals a, some constant, times b, some other constant, some other number, to the power of x. And what we want to do is find out what the a and the b are based on these values here. To do that, I'm going to look for the point where x equals 0. That's a, a pretty useful point to have in any table of values like this. Uh, and then we can plug in the x and the y values and see what that gets us. Here the y is 3, so I'll put in a 3 for y. We don't have a yet, we don't have b yet, but b is raised to the 0 power. That's helpful because anything raised to the 0 power is just the number 1. So this is 3 equals a times 1, or just a equals 3. So we've actually found our a. So let's rewrite this, y equals 3 times some other number to the x. Now we can choose another one of these points, plug in the x and y values, and see if we can solve for b. Let's try this one. This one looks pretty simple. We've got x is 1. So this is y is 27, and 3 times b to the first power. So to solve for b here, I would just divide both sides by 3, and I'd get 9 equals b to the first power. And b to the first power is just b. So b equals 9. So we can rewrite our original now as y equals 3 times 9 to the x power. And that is our function. So that's how to write an exponential function when you've just got a table of ordered pairs.